Welcome back to the 49ers Toyota one-on-one, -on -one, joined by the booming onion himself, 49ers punter Mitch Wisnowski. Mitch, we've got our tailgate set up, so I'm going to put you in the shoes of a master tailgater. If this was your tailgate, you got the food on the grill, what teammates are you bringing with you to the tailgate? All oh, right. Um, George, I'm sure George brings a lot of energy anywhere he goes. Absolutely. So I think George is a must. Maybe the special teams fellas. Robbie and Tabor and now Joey. Okay. And uh, I don't know. All is welcome at my tailgate. There we go. All is welcome. Yep. Do, do people need to bring food, bring games? Yeah, bring your own food. Bring your own food though. Okay, totally. Speaking of food, what item is Mitch Wisnowski bringing to the tailgate? What are you throwing on the bobby? Did I say it right? Uh, yeah, not bad. Okay. <laughs> my specialty is probably like wings. Okay. I make some great wings. Yeah. Get some Nando sauce. It's a... Uh, it's in a lot of European countries and Australia. Okay. Just, actually it's in America now too. Explain but it to me, it's called Nando sauce? It's a Portuguese chicken. And you just get the sauce, put it on the wings or whatever chicken, but okay. it's great. Okay. Nando's. Nando's, Nando's, we're gonna have to try that one out. Okay, what is something that they have back in Australia, but they don't quite have it in the States and you wish that they did? Jeez, if it, food? Anything. Oh, um. I mean, food, I would say like meat pies and stuff, but weight, weight sticks to me a little easier these days. I used to really struggle to put on weight, so <laughs> I don't know if the meat pie would, would sit well with me these days. Um, oh, good coffee. Okay. Good coffee is hard to come by in America. All right, I, a lot, I don't think a lot of viewers are gonna wanna hear that one. I think people are serious about their coffee. Well, I was thinking what isn't offensive. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, coffee can't be that offensive, but you guys put like caramel and vanilla, so a it lot, can like, okay. and yeah. it's easy to mask a bad coffee. Mmm, I got you. So if we want some really good coffee, we need to go to Australia. Where can we find this really good coffee? Where I'm from, my favorite coffee, I don't even know if it's still there, but it's a place called The Imp. The Imp? The Imp, that's great coffee. All right, we'll take note of this when the 49ers go abroad, hopefully in Australia in the near future. Okay, all right, I got another one for you. Since you've been a resident of both locations, who has the best drivers? Would it be Americans or the Aussies? Um, I'm gonna say Australia. Okay. <laughs> but I don't think the standard is great in the Bay Area. Okay. I think there's some bad drivers in the Bay Area. While we're on the topic of drivers and cars, we've got this beautiful Toyota Tacoma sitting here behind us. So I wanna ask you, if you were stuck on the side of the road and you needed one teammate, a reliable teammate, to come pick you up in this Toyota Tacoma, which teammate would it be? No idea, maybe... Uh, Not too many reliable ones. Maybe Tabor. Okay. He, he lives out in the backyard, so... Okay, oh, so easy. So. He doesn't have to drop me off home. He can just drive home. Drive, he can just drive home. Yeah. That makes the most sense. Tabor, we appreciate you. All right, deal. So, Mitch, you are the special teams player of the month for the month of September. That was your first time ever getting that honor. Like, what did that mean to you? Just, you know, getting that type of recognition and uh, earning that from around the league? Uh, yeah, it's great. Um, it's not just me. It's like the whole punt team. We've got some wicked gunners out there and, and the whole interior, but I'll take it. Yeah. Any awards, I'll take there them. There you go. <laughs> so do punters have a favorite punt? Do you have like a favorite punt that you've had? It's normally probably the one that goes the furthest, I guess. <laughs> so like the one against the Raiders that went like maybe 80 yards or 70 yards or something. Yeah. I, if only that was regular season. Yeah. Maybe that. Okay. Yeah. So Mitch, I want to play off of your last name, Wishnowski. And so I want you to, if I could grant you three wishes right now, what would they be? Mitch's wish is what we're going to call this. Jeez, I don't want to sound like shallow, but like some crazy mansion on the beach in Santa Barbara would be great. Oh, I'm um, not mad at that. All paid for too. Uh, geez, I don't need much after that. Um, I'm not much of a car bloke, but uh, just health for my family. Absolutely. I don't know, three wishes is a lot. I'll save the last one. Okay, we're gonna save that one. Maybe it might come to us later, you never know. Okay, save it for something good. All right, so you also have a little wish on the way, a baby girl coming in the near future. First off, congratulations. Um, 
what are you expecting being a girl dad? I mean, I don't really, I'll take it as it comes. Like, everyone's like, you're ready? And I'm like, I don't know, you're like, can you, how ready can you be? Is anyone ever ready? Yeah. So it's like, uh, I don't know, I'll take it as it comes. She actually is not the first of your, your babies because you're a dog dad too. You have Odin the Rottweiler who you post quite a bit on social media. He actually has his own Instagram account. You can see him cuddling with mom and dad. He goes on road trips with you guys. Tell us a little bit about Odin and why is he the greatest Rottweiler to walk the planet? I don't know if he's the greatest Rottweiler. He could be, <laughs> but I think all Rottweilers get a bad rap. And, uh, Stick up for the Rottweilers around yeah, the world. Yeah, Rottweilers, pit bulls, they're all great dogs. He's amazing, he's cuddly, he's like, he's great to come home to every day and he's great with kids, he's just, he's, you can't fault Big Odin. Big old Odin. We gotta bring him in so he can like hang out at the yeah. facility. He, he's days. hung out with uh, the Frenchies. A few really? Times. Yeah. Oh man, okay, I've definitely missed that one. Okay, well, so, so while we wrap up our tailgate here, you can't have a tailgate without the shrimp on the bobby, with a good recipe. So I want you to give me the perfect recipe for being a good dog dad. What makes a good dog dad? Jeez, it's all just love, ain't it? It's just like letting him, yeah, just showing him love. I feel like oh, you've got to train him and stuff like that, but if, if, if you show him love and he knows you love him, then that's really what makes a good dog. I like that. Yeah. I like that answer a lot. What's a good recipe, and I have to go to it because it's one of my favorite plays ever, but uh, for a good tackle? Uh, a good recipe is I try to go in closer so that there's not such a big open field if, if, if he gets to me. I don't like my chances in a big open field, so. Okay, get in closer and then you go in for it. Yeah, while well, there's a bit of congestion. I like that, yeah. I like that a lot. And obviously, I mean, we can't have this one-on-one -on -one with you without asking, what's the recipe for a perfect Mitch Wisnowski punt? I think it's all in the ball drop, for me. My ball drop changes a bit. I think my leg swing's quite consistent, so a good ball drop normally means a good punt. There it is, right there. 49ers punter Mitch Wisnowski teaching us about being a girl dad, a dog, lover and then also how to have a perfect punt. Appreciate having you on the one-on-one. -on -one. Hopefully next time we do have those shrimps on the bobby. Thanks for having me. <laughs>